a miracle. I finally came across the snake diet dude and I wanted to watch his video because he kind of cracks me up a little bit. Hey fatty. Damn. No low. No low you fat pegs. It's such He's so angry. Work, bitch. <laughs> 79.8 pounds on the sugar diet. Okay, I've lost like five pounds in the last six days. I've lost like five pounds in the last six days. This guy must be from Canada. I can hear it. Is this weight loss is way too fast for where I'm at. Okay, I'm like 10 pounds from 10% body fat. Okay, I'm eating pure sugar through the day. This guy's throat must hurt like 24 hours a day. Okay, figure out the frequency you want to do. The most important part is that you hammer sugar right when you get up. The rest, whatever you feel is the best for you. For me, a massive sugar bomb right in the morning is about the best. Sugar bomb action, that drags me through the whole day until I eat. I've been doing this. It's been wonderful. Like, I thought I did it before, but I started, like, really upping it. Uh, it's been wonderful. My main meal, which is lean meat vegetables fruit starch the first meal the sugar bomb and all your and you can hear his voice it sounds like it's crying uncle little micro dose if you're micro dosing through the day is zero fat pure sugar pure sugar zero fat pure sugar i mean this dude sounds like durian rider on steroids man i guess durian rider was on steroids at some point what did i have this morning in my sugar bomb Okay, I had a glass of super snake juice. So that was four tablespoons of table sugar and about 500 mils of water, snake juice, electrolyte salts. I started doing that. I mean, I've, I I said, screw it, I'll try it. And I did uh, I, I did the rebounder afterwards for like uh, 35 minutes or something like that. And I was burning. I, it was, it was, I was a lot hotter than usual. Then I had a swig of blackstrap molasses. Then I had a bunch of candy okay a bunch of jolly ranchers sour candy man i mean this guy's gonna be able to or not gonna be able to talk after like i don't, I don't know like 60. i had some dates okay i had some dates and i ate like half a bottle of jam it was a pile of sugar okay all i'm doing in that first meal that sugar bomb i'm just eating sugar till i feel i'm done I'm just eating sugar till I feel that I'm done. I'm not forcing it. I'm not going too low. I'm just eating till I'm done eating sugar. That's all I'm doing. It works perfect. Okay, so if you're microdosing through the day, that first sugar hit is the most important. Most important. That will crank up your metabolism like crazy right in the morning and start your day up right. You can get out your stupid coffee, idiot. High energy dieting. High energy weight loss. Don't like shout at the cam. I mean, this, I mean, you know, it's effective, I guess. And then you want to microdose a couple small ones. It depends who you are. Go by feel. The main meal is the evening meal where you get your micronutrients in lean meat, vegetables, fruit, starch. The sugar diet makes weight loss fun because you have so much energy. Nothing competes with this. Nothing. Nothing competes with sugar. Sugar is God's weight loss and performance drug. God's weight loss and performance drug. That's why it's been taken off. This is why they 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 uh, hate on it so hard. Uh, since 1980, it's been like disappearing off the shelf. You know. Who needs those Zempic? Who needs P? There you go. There you go. You don't need those Zempic and all this other. Somebody's saying that like your uh, your hormone is not working. Or I'm not. Sugar. It's, the propaganda is unreal. Sugar. It makes the weight loss a joke. I can't hold on to body fat. I'm 179.8 pounds now. I'm losing fat faster now that I have this dialed in perfect than I was even four weeks ago at a heavier body weight. Oh, listening. To He's got a good message. And I'm shouting a little right now too, but I like I have the gain on uh, or down. And it's just like, ugh. If my weight keeps slamming down like crazy, I'm gonna just have to add in more food. That's how good this works. 
because my total caloric burn on the day is way higher than it was before. Way higher. Okay, you know your little maintenance calories you think your maintenance calorie is if you're actually counting calories? That maintenance goes way up when you cut the fat of your goddamn diet, idiot. Hmm, don't like that language. And eat pure sugar all day and have your meat source at night, zero fat, zero added fat, whatever fats in the lean meat, vegetables, fruit, starch. You want to get even more aggressive? The fruit is going to make you lose weight like crazy at the end of the day. Wet fruit. Wet fruit. Okay, it's less calorie dense than the starch. But it isn't going to matter. You can do whatever you want. You're just going to get there. Okay, if you want to speed up the process, go ahead. Yeah, he's Canadian. 100%. Okay, if you want to do a longer snake juice fast for 48, 72 hours or longer, go ahead. And then you jump into your low-fat sugar diet. Zero fat all day. The most important meal is the first one, right when you wake up. Right when you wake up. This is exactly how you get off your coffee. This is how you get off your antidepressants. You don't need any of that shit. You just need sugar, fat pig. Until next time, cut the f <laughs> Oh, shit. Out uh, of your goddamn diet, fatty. <laughs> I know my title's going to be called clickbait, but he said it right there. And I'm looking at him, so. Damn. I, I don't know. I don't know why. It just all of a sudden clicked and just start like really loading up on sugar in the morning. And I'm talking like I bought three gallons of apple cider because it's that season. I, I bought um, uh, potassium chloride. I bought uh, more salt. I bought baking soda. And I've been I mean, I really been I just been saying forget it because one of the things that I know I've always been low in is um, sodium because I hate it. I hate the taste of sodium. I can't stand it. Uh, I'm to the point where I won't even go in the ocean because I can't stand salt. <sighs> so I've been trying that. See what happens. But the energy has been better. Mental state's been better, which is actually more important to me than, uh, you know, getting rid of some of the fat because the mental the mental shit is just ter is terrible so anyway that's the video i like his message he kind of sounds like uh durian rider back in the day all right so i was just gonna i was just gonna do just that one video and then i realized that i don't know 100 percent what this guy does but like he was 199 six months ago three months ago which is the video i just watched he was 179 uh, so that's 20 pounds in, th in three months on a guy that really doesn't look like he needs to lose weight all that much. I've lost three pounds in four days on the sugar diet. I feel like this guy sits outside the gym and either shouts at the camera beforehand to get like that, you know, pump going. Or like he already has it because he just done worked out and then he got gets in his, I, I don't know, looks like a truck and shouts at a camera. Sugar! Sugar! I was 199.0 pounds. I'm 195.8. Okay, I'm 195.8. Okay, what am I eating? Okay, no fucking fat. Okay, fat makes you fat. It's a this dude is, I mean, can you imagine Durian Rider back in the day and this guy? Like, oh, Simple man. Simple concept. Eat less fat, lose more fucking weight. You're running on sugar via fucking straight sugar out of the bag. Starch. Fruit. Fuck, you can still eat vegetables, motherfucker. Okay, people are idiots. This is the most balanced weight loss diet. It's the most balanced. Fuck. You get to eat carbs and fucking I still eat a bit of meat. Okay, I still eat a small amount of meat. This is like the China diet. Okay, fuck. It's way more balanced than anything that's zero carb. It's more balanced than a vegan diet because there's no meat. You're just cutting the fat to fuck all. Okay, you fat pigs, get under 10 grams a day. Get under 10. This guy's literally spouting Durian Rider. Get to zero. I don't know how you do that with meat. How do you do that with to under 10 grams with meat? What is he eating? Like the worst tasting tuna on the planet? Fucker. Okay, I mean, if those are fighting words, bud. 
It's a zero grams of meat. Fuck. It's not even an issue if you didn't even eat any meat for a bit if you're fat pig. Okay, fuck. Get the fat down to fuck all. This diet gives you insane energy, motherfuckers. Insane. Okay, insane. Okay, what have I been doing? On my rest days, I'll do maybe OMAD or two meal a day. First meal, straight fucking sugar via fruit, sugar, juice, whatever the fuck I want. This guy, meal, this guy is combining the fruit, the, the rice diet, durian rider, and whoever else, and, and McDougal. Starch with syrup, rice, fucking my chunk of meat, okay, vegetables, peas and carrots. Fuck, it's a regular fucking diet, you fucking idiots. It's a regular diet. The problem with this is, is he used to get like 80, 90, 100, like some of his videos are in the million views, but swearing hurts people's feelings now. So like, you know, it's tanking him. Most of the skinny people on the planet are already eating a sugar diet. And I kind of wish he would stop swearing and get this message out there more i mean five thousand views ain't that bad but like if you really compare it to some of the other channels to talk about like that tom uh the lower i think his name is the steroid boy i don't even know it okay fuck weight loss is what counts idiot you're not gonna get a fatty liver when you're losing fucking weight you idiot fuck fuck this will reverse type 2 diabetes diabetes this will reverse your fatty fucking liver you idiot fuck there's no fucking fat Okay, that's the main premise. The fat has to be zero, you fucking morons. You just said 10 grams, not fat zero. Fat-free fucking carbs. <laughs> fat-free carbs. This is no different than an old school, next to no fucking fat, 1990s weight loss diet. That was from Menzer. Mike Menzer. Mike Menzer realized that having fat in your, your diet was pointless. He was also on a lot of steroids, but besides that point, that is 100% Menzer. The sugar diet. Lean fucking meat, moderate amount, low amounts, because obviously your fat intake will control the meat amount. Your fat intake is going to control the volume of meat. I, I don't know what meat that you're going to eat and be under 10 grams of fat. I, I really don't. Because if the meat's too high, the fat will be too fucking high, even with the leanest meat. But you don't need that much protein anyway, you fat bag. My protein count right now is like 75, 80 gram a day for meat. Yeah. That's it. I got some fat on me. I don't need fucking more meat. Okay, the rest is straight sugar and like fucking 10. Like I said, I accidentally had meat the, uh, over Labor Day, which is the first weekend of September. And um, I, just, I hated the taste of it. I, I don't think I could go back. Grams, 12 grams of fucking fat from the fucking lean meat source. Whatever you pick, chicken breast, white fish, round steak, whatever the fuck it is, no fat. You cut the fucking fat, you fat pig. Fat people need zero grams of dietary fucking fat. I don't know how you do that either. There's fat in potatoes, there's fat in bananas. I'm like, I don't know how you're going to get there. Fat, you idiot. Fat people need zero fucking grams of dietary fucking fat. Once you get ripped... Then you can fuck with the macros and add a teaspoon of fat back in, idiots. Fuck, people are brain dead. Motherfucker. Okay, you're fucking brain dead. You're fucking brain dead. If this guy, if you see this, if you're, what's his name, Cole, if you see this video, I want to interview you. I, I, I do. I like, whatever. I, I want to interview you. Okay, weight loss is weight loss, bitch. As soon as you cut the fat right out, you know how fucking easy it is to hold a caloric deficit on this? Plus, it's always going to be calories in, just more calories out on the sugar diet. The standard calorie count in 1940 was 3,000. I know I keep saying this, but those dudes lost weight on 3,540 calories, and they only weighed 158 pounds on average. I don't know where this 2,000 calorie thing came from. Same fucking calories eaten, and you're gonna burn more on the sugar diet because you're way more fucking active. You have way more fuck. Although they did say that on uh, it was basically the potato diet because they fed these men 
basically potatoes. Get energy. You're running way harder. Okay, you're gonna burn more calories eating a diet that's pure fucking sugar. It's sugar. Okay, you fucking morons still don't get the table sugar has a lower glycemic index than white potato, you idiot. Mm. Okay, table yeah. sugar's got a lower glycemic index than all the fucking shit you eat that has a pile of fat and carbs in the same bite when you fucking fuck up your stupid zero carb diet. Okay? Zero carb diets have a 100% dropout rate. 100 fucking percent. This diet is a 100%. And it screwed me hard and not in a good way. Yeah. Uh I yeah, it's it's I, that's why it's one of the reasons I started this channel. You got to know. A joke to stick to. Okay, this diet is a balanced fucking diet. You're eating fucking fruit. You can still eat vegetables. You can eat some meat. You just cut the fucking fat of your fucking diet, you fat fucking pig. That's it. You just cut the fat to fuck all, and you will melt with ease. You will fucking melt. Okay, on my hard training days, I do the fucking crazy sugar load in the morning. Fuck there was a guy at one of the gyms I used to work out at that would po polish off a two liter of Mountain Dew before every workout. That guy was crazy. Fucking table sugar. Okay, this morning I had 500 milliliters of apple juice and eight tablespoons of fucking sugar in that with fucking some sodium and potassium, some snake juice. Okay, just burned it off and then some. Okay, burn that the fuck off. It's not an issue. Fuck. Obviously, if you're not as active as me, don't do that. Okay, it's still a calorie game, fucker. Okay, you just need to focus right now on cutting the fat down to nothing. Fucking the fat to nothing. Fat-free carbs. All you fucking dummies that are blaming carbs for your weight gain, those carbs are full of fucking fat, you idiot. Randall Cycle. Okay, you're a fucking idiot. Those carbs are full of fucking fat. You eat too much fat. That is why you are fucking fat. That is why you are fucking fat. Cut the fucking fat to fucking zero and get that fucking sugar in you, fatty. All right, I can't take any more of it. My ears are hurting. But yeah, I like the message. Anyway, that's the video again. Second day. Hopefully this video uh, gave you some indication on that sugar isn't bad for you. And what else can I say? That's the video. Anyway, comments, questions down below. Like, subscribe. Talk to you in the next.